Hello, welcome to another video from Open Art. Today we're gonna look at how to expand a headshot or a half body portrait into a full body shot. We're gonna look at a DD example and then we'll also go over some photorealistic and anime examples. Let's start with this picture of a tiefling that I just created with Opener D&D. Opener D&D is a D&D fine-tuned model that can handle most D&D races. If you haven't seen the video where I compared different AI models to generate different D&D races, make sure to check it out. You see, with Opener D&D, all I had to do was type in tiefling, no extra description required, the model knows what it is, and I just got this really nice image of a tiefling. But it's a half body shot, so let's click edit and that's going to take us into the open art editor. Now we want to go to expand. One of the best things about using the open art editor is you can customize the dimensions by just dragging this box. We will want to drag it just completely vertically downwards. There's a reason why I'm not doing the left and right sides yet and I'll show you in a bit. So now without typing in any prompt, let's just expand this. This first image is all right, kind of a tricky pose. The second image, the third image, ooh, so because I didn't put in any text prompt, it's, it's getting really creative here. And I quite like the fourth image, it's pretty close to what I have in mind for my Tiefling outfit. So I'm going to do add to canvas just to have this picture here as well. But now let's look at what happens if we if we try to do this instead of just purely vertically. Um, it tends to give us this like really extra pose. We're giving it more space on the left and right, so it tends to do something too dramatic. You know, occasionally it would be good. It kind of fills in a nice background for us and even a weapon, but in order to have more control, it's usually slightly better if you just um, try to do it vertically first, get something that you like, and then you can still expand it into a better aspect ratio from here. <laughs> this is also kind of crazy, but don't forget we can always put in a text prompt to better guide the expansion. So going back to our original image, here's what I would try to describe. I want it to be a dark toned outfit and I added some magic words that usually improve the generation quality. Let's see what we get. Great, I think with the extra text prompt, it's already giving me something much better. Let me also add that to the canvas. Something you might have noticed is that this is still not a full, full body portrait. And that is because we actually hit the expansion limit in that one run. So what we can do now is to expand one more time. And this time I'm gonna also leave some space on the left and right, but make sure it's overall like a vertical shape. And I'm going to just throw in the same prompt. I see a little glitch over here, but this is overall a pretty good expansion. It messed up the weapon part a little bit, so I'm gonna try to describe the weapon a bit more in my prompt and see if we can improve this. Let's just say a sword. It's much better now, and this is indeed a full body portrait. The lower body outfit matches the original style really well. In short, here are five tips to do a great full body expansion. I'll attach this link to the tips page in the description, there are going to be picture examples too. We gotta give a huge shout out to our super inspiring Discord community. This video was inspired by King Steven, who extended the tiefling image of another user in our RPG interest group. It looked so fun, I started playing around with it and loved it. So don't miss out on the fun and join the Discord community.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I put all useful links under the video in the description. And don't forget to check out Open Art. Have fun creating.